Hi and welcome, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I'm so glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What's a metaphysical ministry? Well, what you can experience with your physical five senses, all you can know of the world is what you can see, hear, taste, touch, smell. See, hear, taste, touch, smell. That's fine. <laughs> But that's very limiting because 99% of what exists out there, you have to experience by knowing how to move into other dimensions so you can sense what's bigger than the meta, more than, beyond the physical of the world, the physical of your reality. We begin every week with a happy share. Well, why happy share? Because the world is a place filled with many, many very fearful people. People who are unhappy. People who are downright miserable. And at best, the majority of people who live just ho-hum and getting by in life is really nothing more than, okay, what if you created the habit of looking for things that leave you feeling happy, that leave you feeling good, that leave you feeling at peace or calm? Not things that happen because your kid accomplished something for your spouse or your best friend or your parents but something that happened for you. When you create the habit of looking for something that leaves you feeling happy, guess what? The universe sees that you're looking for happy things and it brings you more happy things to enjoy. For instance, my happy share this week is yesterday I got a phone call from Dr. Michelle. Well, who's Dr. Michelle? She has one of the top 100 talk shows listed in iTunes. It's called On the Couch with Dr. Michelle. And she invited me to be a guest on her really, really cool show. And I'm going to be doing that on Friday, November 11th. I'll put the details down there. So hopefully you're seeing this before Friday, November 11th, because I think our show is, it, it's just really, really cool. Because if you're here because it's a metaphysical ministry, she's a spiritual psychologist, and she has guests who will help you discover even more about metaphysics and spirituality and the things that I teach. Well, they teach it too, and they teach it in their way. So, what's your happy share? If you scroll down there and you let us know, here's what happens for you. When you share it, first of all, it increases, right, exponentially. Your degree of happiness when you share it with somebody else, do you ever notice that you feel even better, like at least twice as happy and probably even more so? Here's the other thing that happens. When you share it with others, you are reliving. Your body is actually going through those moments over and over again, releasing all those feel-good chemicals. And who wouldn't want to do that? So go ahead and share your Happy Share with us and go on over to thehappysharemovement.com every single day. Put in what your Happy Share is on the day this listed, which will always be the current day. Create the habit of looking for things to be happy about. And it will totally change your life because it will bring you to a place of being and feeling happy, it'll teach you to refocus rather than on what you don't want and don't like about the world to focus on what feels good. And that brings me to today's topic. Being the fifth Sunday of the month, I'm not going to sing today and I'm not going to do a meditation today. So I'm going to follow right along with the Happy Share movement and I'm going to talk to you about being happy. Now I got a question for you. Why do you go to work every day? Why do you put up with the traffic and possibly a miserable boss or doing things you don't really like to do? Well, you do all these things to make money. But what so what does money do for you? It lets you live in a nice home. It lets you drive a car, wear nice clothes, eat food. It lets you go to the movies. Money, you're out to make money because you want what money does for you. It lets you buy the things that let you feel happy. So if your whole life is all about getting to a place of being happy, 
you want to create that experience for yourself and change to a job that's not a vocation but an avocation, something that you love. Well, how do you do stuff like that? First of all, figure out exactly how you want to feel because this money is in your life and in your world. Maybe you want to feel secure. Maybe you want to feel relaxed. Maybe you want to feel peace. Maybe you want to feel joy. Maybe you think that having money will allow you to create different kinds of relationships. Whatever it is, you know what? Write it down so you know, so you get clear, very clear, very specifically on how you're going to feel because you have the money. And then, are you ready for this? Find ways to allow yourself to feel that way now, even before any extra money is flowing to you, because as soon as you start having those feelings, you're going to feel good, you're going to feel calm, and you're going to allow more money. You're going to allow the new job to flow to you. Because right now, if you're doing things you don't like to get the money so that you can be happy, you're creating this resistance. You're creating this wall that says, oh, I'm not letting any money in. I'm not letting any good in. I'm not letting any happy in. Everything I do is a struggle and it's hard. And making money's hard and it's unpleasant. That's what's going on now. Don't you want to change it? Well, of course you do. So remember, make a list of how you're going to feel when you have the money, how you're going to feel when you are happy and at peace and calm, and then do what lets you feel that way. You know, when you go to a movie, what are you doing? You're escaping reality. When you're in a good relationship that lets you feel good, do you really need to have money to make that happen? I sure hope not. If you think that having the job and making the money is giving you self-worth, look for how you can create that self-worth for yourself. Because you know what? Just because you exist, you're worthy and deserving of all that's good, of all that's wonderful and happy and peaceful in your life. You deserve abundance rather than struggle. And this is the first step to move out of struggle Take your focus away from what you don't like and into the happy. You will notice if you're on our ministry page, if you look up there, you will see a page that says, hold the space for. Hold the space for is different from prayer. Prayer is really all about expressing your gratitude for what you have in your life. And by the way, the fastest way to getting more of what you want is to be grateful for everything that you have. Be grateful for everything you don't have. Be grateful for the suffering that you don't have. So what is it that you want to manifest in your life? When we hold the space for it, you went out there, let us know what you want to have in your reality that isn't there now. Because when you put out the message, that you putting out the message in is powerful and it will bring it to you. But what if you had a whole bunch of people Putting out the same message, the same energy, and the same energy. So if your energy is this big as an individual, and then another person puts it out too, and another, and another, and another, and another, well, you have this big thought form going out, grabbing the attention of the universe to bring it to you sooner. So what is it that you'd like? Is it maybe a different tone? Maybe you're looking to take a course and you haven't found what school's teaching it yet. Or maybe you need it to be online because you don't live any place near a university. Or maybe you want a different car. Maybe you're looking to attract a new friend or even a romantic friend into your life. I don't know what it is, but you probably do. So if there's something you want to manifest in your life and you'd like us to hold the space for seeing it happen as your reality, Go on down there and let us know what it is. It will appear up on the Hold the Space page. And what you need to do to help it become reality is come back at least once a week. Read your name, what you want to have, and every other name up there. You don't have to know the people. The universe knows who they are. Just the fact that you're speaking. Don't just read it. Speak it aloud. The person's name and what they ask that we hold a space for. 
And that benefits all of us making it a win, 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 win. Because that's what life is all about. It's about cooperation. It's about being in service. I'm so very glad that you joined me here today. Let others know that we're here. And I appreciate your going down there and clicking on the like button. And if you haven't done so already, going over there, get your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. And I will see you here next week. Enjoy a wonderful week. Discovering being happy. Blessings.